What is good y'all? It's your boy Aaron And yes, it's the 13th today Two days after the release of the White Cement Jordan 3's And uh, it's been a crazy two days after that Luckily enough, I was also able to sell my first ever pair of sneakers My extra uh, White Cement trees that I uh, bought with my personal pair And yes, uh, yeah, that made me officially a sneaker reseller now Man Man, that was something else. That was a light $40 profit. Uh, it's not the uh, highest profit out there, you know, for a white cementry, but man, I'll take it, man. That's still a profit. And it's it was my first time uh, reselling a sneaker. I bought it for retail anyway, so yeah, I took it. Yeah, that was my first ever sneaker reselling experience, man. And that was... A lot of fun I'm gonna tell y'all man that was a lot of fun and yeah hoping to do more way more in the future so let's just get into the video man today we are going to be reviewing a quite a controversial pair surprisingly because this was so hype people are uh, expecting this pair to be uh, the sneaker of the year for 2023 but the release of this white cement tree pair is has been lackluster at best because there were so many complaints man if y'all are in the game right now you already know what everyone's saying man the, the quality control for this specific pair it's mm, it, it's rough it's rough man so let's just see if that if the rumors are true Maybe I just got lucky, who knows? Let's just get into the fucking review. I also wanna share with you guys uh, my personal experience. First time lining up for a pair of sneakers, for a pair of J's. I lined up in March 11th in Nike Manila. And uh, I didn't win the raffle. I lined up for the unclaimed pair. So I did kind of a mini vlog to uh, really document the first experience. So. Let me hit you with this weak ass vlog first. What is good YouTube? Uh, today we're about to be hunting for some J trees, white cement. So, wish us luck, man. Shit. Wala nga yun sa ano? Wala nga yun sa Titan. Fail yung una namin store. Walang Jordan 3 white cement. Sabi nung mga tao, baka buwas pa. Uh, sa tiyan na namin yung ibang store. Galing tayo sa Jordan Manila And pati doon Ligwak Titan Ligwak Sa Nike Moa Ligwak You live and you learn So hindi pala Sakto yung physical release doon sa Parang pinaka release mismo ng ano Ng shoes One day late Right What the fuck was that? That was so bad We got a pair. Oh my god, And we are back from the Nike store, man. I can't even comprehend the size of this W right now. Like, I was able to cop not one, but two fucking Jordan 3 white cements just sitting pretty right here, man. One for personal and one for resale. You know, you already know how it is, man. We're trying to get in the game, man. And yeah, it's been a tiring day. I wasn't really uh, that sure. I wasn't really that uh, confident that I'm gonna be able to get a pair today because I did not win the raffle uh, and I'm just holding on to dear sheer fate that there's gonna be a physical release of some sorts and uh, thank goodness there were a lot of unclaimed pairs and yeah I was able to cop two man absolute W Thank you, Lord. So yeah, 
we're gonna head home uh, get some rest and I'm gonna make a review of this new brand new, brand spanking new um, oh I'm sorry Jordan 3 white cement so yeah see you guys later on to the review man so I got it right here my first ever uh, retail experience for a hype shoe because I always took else when it comes to my uh, most anticipated uh, shoes like the Lost and Found, the Alamon Year Force. I got those two for retail because I'm not really that familiar with the game yet. I don't even know how to uh, get a shoe for retail. I always thought they were already gone once they dropped the same day. So I studied the game. I went in there, lined up myself, and yes, I got myself a retail price for a very anticipated show of my the white cement Jordan trees. Let's fucking go! Let's go, man! I was so nervous when I lined up because they only got limited sizes, and the only the biggest sizes that they got was size ten, which was my size. Oh my god, I was so nervous. Look at these, look at this box man, the age look, you already know it's the reimagined series, just like the lost and found, very very beautiful concept, and yeah, size 10 US, so hook me up guys, hook me up with some size 10 J's man, <laughs> just kidding, so let's let's open this box, let's pop the lid off, so the age look, the aged effect uh, continues throughout the whole thing, even inside, and we got kind of a uh what do you call this booklet no it's not a booklet paper that explains the uh, materials used for the white cement trees so pretty cool stuff and look at this uh tissue man it's so amazing the white cement the uh, i mean the elephant print the iconic elephant print and here's the pair itself This is my personal pair for my uh, first ever Jordan 3 ever and I'm so glad that my first pair of trees is the white cement, the iconic white cement from Tinker Hatfield. The shoe that saved the Jordan brand because as we all know uh, Michael Jordan almost fell out with Nike because he did not like the Jordan 2's that to the up to a point where he almost wanted to quit Nike and maybe push his luck somewhere else maybe Adidas or something but Nike made a genius decision to bring Tinker Hatfield in he made the uh, Jordan trees Michael saw it and the rest is history man look at this the, the savior of the Jordan brand right here it's so gorgeous let me take one out of the box here is the Jordan 3 white cement in size 10. Look how beautiful this pair is, man. The leather quality is amazing, man. Look at this. Let me show y'all a close up. Look at that leather quality. It's just very, uh, what do I call this? Very textured. Not so much in the uh, front part. Let me do a comparison. So, this is one of the gripes as well. Something the community noticed. Is that the uh, leather quality the leather texture is not consistent all throughout this shoe and I can kind of see that with my personal pair so as you can see here it's a bit more smoother but for this one it's a bit more textured these these came from the same box man but the uh, consistency is still not the same so really really rough release and i'm gonna i'm not even gonna lie that's a bit of a bummer especially for those who even got it worse because some of the elephant prints man it's it almost looks fake man some of the elephant prints that i saw from the pictures are so thin it might as well would have been uh replicas man so that's already an issue that i found from my personal pair and uh what else for the most part, the front elephant print of my personal pair is uh, pretty consistent. The thickness is uh, almost the same, so no complaints with that. The issue really comes 
with the back part of the elephant prints this is where i really see the ultimate issue just look at this man look how thin look how thin that uh white cement print is like it's crazy even on even more on the other side like look at that that is not good nike how how did you how did you how did you let this pass for such a high pair white cement trees man this is these are classic how in the fuck did the white cement ones have a more consistent elephant printing than the white cement trees my boy white cement ones are bricks they're bricks i have those but they still got more consistent uh white cement uh what, what do you call this uh elephant print and that and that pair is uh lettered with elephant print the whole shoe was almost uh elephant print and it was all consistent how is that possible man so i completely understand the frustration when it comes to this pair it sucks that just compare man this is the front uh part of the elephant print the back part it's so iffy it's so thin it's almost fading that's such a bummer but if you look at it from afar it's not that big of a deal but still man you think Nike would make more of an effort uh, reviewing these pairs because come on man we're paying a lot for these and we're expecting the best but it is what it is man sucks to those who got it worse I saw a bunch of pairs that almost had a fading elephant print especially for uh, size 11 to 13 bigger sizes that really sucks and yeah i hope nike does better i hope nike does a re-release restock of these with a better with a better quality i'm definitely gonna hit those up too once they release if they release but yeah do better nike however i am still i'm not even gonna lie i'm i mean no dick riding shit but i still love this pair this is my first jordan 3 an iconic silhouette an iconic pair, an iconic colorway, the white cements, and I'm so fucking glad I have I have these. I w I wish they would have uh, just done a better job, done a better job at uh, really doing some quality control for the for these pairs. But other than the elephant print and some of the texture inconsistencies, I am absolutely in love with this. Just the uh, overall colorway the sail effect the kind of like the off-white effect that they made with the midsole specifically for the reimagined release is so i love sail i love the sail color anything that's sail i want it they continued the sail uh kind of colorway with the i don't know i don't even know what you call these man lace holes something like that and in the back part as well you can see the nike air it's so beautiful with the sail color and it continues on with the uh, bottom sole you can see it's sail color very beautiful it says Nike over here not Jordan and yeah an absolutely beautiful pair we can see the tag here the Nike Air I'm, I'm gonna have to take these off once I officially use them i've never owned a pair of jordan trees before so i don't even know if these are true to size i'm gonna have to find that out now because i'm gonna do some fit checks later so stay tuned since the jordan tree white cements is the uh, second edition to the reimagined series i think it's only right that we compare the first one the lost and founds and the jordan tree reimagined both such an iconic pair right here look at these man i can't believe i have both of these in my jordan arsenal man i'm such at a baby stage of my jordan uh career jordan journey i can't even believe i have such both iconic colorways in my collection right now like i only started like late last year october last year it's only it's only march and i already have the chicago ones and the jordan 3 white cements fuck man i'm blessed thank you lord these are an absolutely iconic duo iconic pair 
and I mean I'm so surprised that these are holding up so well I've already used this a lot of time to Jordan 1 lost and founds they're so easy to clean so easy to use so easy to wear so comfy I wear them loose and yeah I'm hoping that the Jordan 3 white cements are gonna hold up just as good these are white I hope these are easy to clean as well especially the laces I'm not particularly good when it comes to keeping the white shoes clean but I'll do my best with this pair these are iconic I love both of these let's look at them from the front mm -hmm. look at them from the side the other side this is the back view this is the inside inside of the shoe see how my Jordan Nike Air logo is still intact hope that will be the same case here in the Jordan trees and let's look at the outsoles look at that this one's still so clean like it's so such a delight to clean seeing them almost look brand new after just a couple of white wet wipes man so the Jordan trees got that Nike brand in the uh, sole very very clean bunch of pairs I love both of these so much the Georgian that started it all the Chicago ones the most iconic shoe ever and the white cement trees the shoe that saved the Jordan brand thank you so much Tinker Hatfield your creation is now in my hands so this video wouldn't even be complete if I don't try these on so let's see how it looks on me and let's see what kind of fits uh, would match this white cement tree. So let's hop right into it. Yeah man, uh, trying these on is incredibly fun. I did not expect it to be that comfortable. This might just be the most comfortable Jordans that I have right now. More comfortable than the Jordan 1s and the Jordan 4s, man. These are incredibly comfy to wear. Like I'm walking on clouds wearing this thing. And looking at it while walking, looking at my feet, I think I'm gonna look at these whenever I'm gonna wear them. Like I'm just gonna look at the ground shit i got the white cements that that's the, already the vibes that i'm getting from these so comfy so aesthetic so beautiful man i'm already liking this way more than i thought i'm gonna like it but what do you guys think are these worth it despite the uh problems are you still gonna cop these let me know man and hook your boy up if you got any pairs that's for steel I want them if I got anything that you'll want just hit me up I got a couple of pairs at home maybe I can sell some for you so that is it guys have a good one see you on the next one get that money get that bag and stay humble peace